If you have type 1 diabetes, you'll be using insulin and you should have been taught to carb count. That is to know how many carbs you're taking in so that you can balance your dose of insulin to keep those two in sync and keep your blood sugar controlled. Now don't forget that for instance, if you're exercising, you may be prone to low blood sugar. Whereas if you become ill, even if you're not eating, your blood sugar may well go too high. So one of the first things it's important to do is to talk to your healthcare team about what you should do if you're unwell and how you should adjust your level of insulin. Secondly, it's really important to check your blood sugars regularly. And if you've been taught to adjust your dose, to make sure that you do that. Thirdly, if your blood sugars are persistently high, you should speak to your team about whether you need to have a regularly higher dose of insulin. And finally, if you start to feel generally unwell with high blood sugar as well, then you may be at risk of a condition called ketoacidosis. You can check your urine to see if it has ketones in it, but if in doubt and you're becoming rapidly more unwell, you must seek urgent medical help.